Hi, I'm very excited to do this video on practice sets. Google has been talking about this for a while, over a year, I think. So I just noticed that it is uh, live in Google Classroom. I'm hoping that you all can see it. I know sometimes I do these videos and I get excited and then I hear from teachers, I don't see it. If you don't see practice sets in your Google Classroom, you will see it within the next month. So if you go to classroom.google.com, or of course we can find Google Classroom in our waffle. If you click on the hamburger menu in the upper left-hand corner, you will see practice sets. And it says new next to it because it's new. So now I have one that I have an untitled one. If you wanna create a new one, you just click create. I'm gonna open this one because I didn't have anything in it. All right, so I have to go up here to the edit, and then now I can edit my practice set. So I'm gonna call this geology. Make sure I spelled that right, yeah. I'm gonna add a question. So what type of rock is slate? So I want this to be multiple choice, which is this one. Single select is what you're gonna choose if you want them to select one answer. Notice when I click in here, it immediately shows up this math formula. So that's pretty sweet. So if you are a math teacher, you can click on this and then it allows you um, to do uh, math formulas because I know that's an issue and sometimes we have to add an extension and blah, blah, blah. So we do not have to do that. So, but for this example, I'm just gonna put in some options here. So now at the bottom, it's telling me right here, mark the correct answer. So I am gonna go in and I'm gonna mark the correct answer, which is metamorphic. So I have my question. I selected my answer. Now up here, you can see I could insert a comment. So um, I could insert um, text right there. And then I could also, um, do a new question or I could import a question from somewhere else. So if I would click import, it will bring up my other Google Forms I'm thinking. I'm doing this for the first time right here with you. Oh, nope. So it it's, wow, it's bringing in, it's opening up my entire drive where I could actually import a PDF. So right here with skills, I'm going to click see suggested skills, classify types of rocks. I think that makes sense. I could also search for different skills. If I click on the little um, light bulb, this problem has hints and resources for students. And then notice it says preview them in try as a student. This is a fantastic option because you can actually see it as a student because I always add Gabby, our fake student, and um, and it's just frustrating. I have to keep going into her account, flipping back and forth. So I'm going to go up here with just this question. I'm going to click try as a student. Welcome to practice sets, a fun and helpful way to work on what you're learning in school. Awesome. Let's take a look. So I always encourage teachers and anyone to make sure that you don't just exit out of these tutorials. They are so helpful. And I know we get going and we're like, I just wanna get it done. But these are very um, helpful. So this is what the students will see. And then next, you're gonna check your answer. If your answer is incorrect, you can try again. Next, tap the light bulb for help. So this is the instructions that the students will get. You'll get hints when you get stuck on a question. I love it. This is all AI, love it. And then we're gonna get started. So this is the student view. So what type of rock is slate? Let's say I'm gonna click the wrong answer. I'm going to check it and it's gonna say, try again. Now I'm like, see how now this has got like the little, like, hey, click on me, click on me. It's got a little gif here, this is so cute. So as a student, I could click and types of rocks. So right here, it grabs a video. 
In this video, let's take a look at the different types of rocks. Rocks are all around us. They make up this famous formation called... So we've got this seven minute video that Google finds for you. You, I did not add this video. This is just a helpful thing for students. This is so fun. Okay, so now I watch the video. I'm gonna exit out. I'm gonna try again and I'm gonna click metamorphic. I'm gonna check and it's checking and it is correct. Yay. And I get confetti, I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, if you're a math teacher, um, they will have the option that, remember that, that little equation keyboard that came up? If this was a math problem, they would have that. If I was better at math, I would do a, um, an example for math. Show your work. So if you're a math teacher, um, this is something they could show their work on which is very cool. Um, show menu, clear content. Oop. Okay, we're gonna remove. I might delete this from the video, I'm not sure. I could remove the notepad, but that's nice that the students can show their work. Very, very cool. Now look, right here, show extra help. This is Google AI, and it's doing, there's little, um, it just grabs a whole bunch of different videos. I'm assuming these are YouTube because Google owns YouTube and it's just it's going to give them more. Hi guys, the objective of this video is to classify a whole load. Nice. So that's extra help that the students can have automatically. So talk about individualized learning. <clears throat> this is it right here with practice sets. So I'm going to click out of this and I'm going to go back to my geology. So I'm gonna add some new questions and then I will be right back. All right, so I have three questions. Um, I identify the skill and that allows, when, when you identify the skill, that allows Google to find um, hints and videos for the students. So it is important that you identify the skills and it always has um, selected skills. You can search. Um, but the suggested skills are, are very good. Now, um, in the option, this is very similar to Google Forms. You can duplicate the question, you can delete the question. Um, new question down here. You have different types of questions, short answer, paragraph. Now the short answer um, does have auto grading. So that that is interesting on what that would look like. Well, you know what? Let me switch this to a short answer because I'm curious. Enter correct answers. So now it's asking for correct answers. So color, texture, mineral, composition. Oh, I'm typing away and it's only letting me. Okay, so it cannot be a really, really long answer. So I'm gonna undo, 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 undo. There we go. Okay, so I am, I'm going to undo that. But yeah, we're gonna have to play with the short answer because that'll be interesting because right here in the gear, you always wanna check the settings. You can, with auto grading, allow equivalent answers. So a lot of times in math, you know, you can have a, a per, you know, you can have someone put a fraction, but then it also, could be put as a decimal. Um, so you can learn more with that. You can also ignore capitalization. So that's part of that with, I know with Google Form, that's frustrating if you lock it to a person, to a specific answer and this you're only allowed to put one answer. It looks like here you can put multiple answers, but if you ignore capitalizations, that is very helpful um, with that auto grading in the short answer. So I like that. And if your math teacher is using this, um, allow equivalent answers would make sense. So that looks like that was the only, yeah, that's the only setting. So I'm gonna save. I wonder if I can rearrange them like, oh, yep. So let's say I wanna put this at the very beginning. So what physical properties? Whenever I see that those, um, or the six little dots, you can grab that and move this up. Let's see. Go up to the top. 
Yes. So I want that one to be at the beginning. All right, let's say I make this practice set and I want to share it with my fellow teachers. I can go up here to the share button and link sharing is off so I'm going to turn it on this little slide bar. I can copy the link and I can share it with another teacher. Sweet. And what it will look like on the other end is they will receive the link um, and then they will be able to um, click the little button it'll say make a copy and then it will add the practice set to their own library and then they can make changes and they can assign it um, to their students so that's that's very very cool so i could copy this link and i could send it to a teacher or my whole team all right so let's say we're ready to assign this to our students Okay, so I've got my practice set. Now I'm gonna go over to my sample class. And I'm gonna go over here to classwork. And I'm gonna create an assignment just like normal. So I'm gonna click create assignment. I'm gonna call it geology review and notice right here is practice sets, so exciting. So I'm gonna click that and it's gonna bring up my library of practice sets. I only have one, but you could have multiple and I'm gonna click it. It's gonna load. I'm gonna attach that practice set and say, and then, I've, do I have a student in here? Yay, I have Gabby. Okay, so I'm gonna sign it. I can once again select a due date. I'm gonna say May 2nd. I could put it under topics, category. Let's say this is homework. And I can also delay send or schedule send. That's good. Um, but I'm gonna assign it right now. Now let me flip over here to Gabby so you can see what it looks like for the Gabster. So here's Geology Review. Click on the assignment and follow the instructions. So I'm gonna click Geology Practice Sets and this is what it will look like. It's gonna give a little um, tutorial to Gabby because it's the first time that she's ever used it. And I'm going to answer these questions and if, you know, I can check my answer, which is great because it's all about, you know, customized learning and Yeah. All right, I want to see some confetti. Oh, nice. Nice. I got a little I got that's so fun. Okay, I'm sorry. I love that stuff. All right, now let's turn in the assignment. Turn in. It's self-grading, so as the teacher, if I switch over to me. So Gabby's done doing her assignment. And now I, I don't I only have one student in that in that class, but the really cool thing is they have insights. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm the teacher. Um, oh, there it is, Ge geology review. Um, let's review work. I could have also got to this from the grading tab. I don't know why I didn't do that. So if you notice right here, you've got insights. So let me click on that. So there's no insights for this assignment. Um, let me show you what it would look like if we had a whole bunch of kids. Let me, I'm bringing over um, this presentation here. So this, what it, what it would look like if you had multiple students doing this. And um, so the insights, it shows a holistic view of class performance to provide an overview of the class strengths and areas of need. So you can see many students got number one and number three incorrect. So that would inform your teaching. And then you can also see the number of attempts will be uh, indicated in the circle. So the number of attempts are right there. So if we click on Helen St. Clair, <laughs> you can see that she did um, one attempt, a number of problems she got incorrect, 
number that she got correct. And this displays the number of attempts that the student um, took. So here is Gabby. So we can see if I click on Gabby, um, it shows for this one, she got it correct right off the bat. And um, I can go back to problem two and I can see um, that she had one attempt and the first time she attempted, she thought that it was sedimentary and then she got it correct. All right, so that's the first time that I've played with um, practice sets. I figure I might as well record it. So I hope this isn't too long. I will edit quite a bit out of this um, as I've fumbled a little bit through it. Um, yeah, it's really cool. And right here, now I get to that grading part. So I just clicked on her name and it popped up the grading part right there. I could give her um, her grade. I can add a comment. I can also add um, comments here from my comment bank if I would want to. Um, and then I can return it to Gabby so she can see. One other thing is Google would love your feedback. Practice sets is new, even though it's in beta, it's been in beta for over a year. So they've been testing it out at other schools and with a select group of teachers um, for over a year, but they still want your feedback. So um, within practice sets, there's a little question mark icon, and then you can, you know, give them feedback. So yeah, so thank you so much and have a great day.